All right, Capricorn or Capricorn Cross Watcher, this video is going to be for you guys. You've had some beautiful love messages lately. Like, whoever's been watching the Capricorn videos, <laughs> they're so good. But wow, like lots of love around you guys right now. Of course, it's not going to be for everybody, but Capricorn Cross Watcher or maybe somebody connected to you on the outside of you, they're going through this. Either way, you and another make each other very happy. If you're single and you're not talking to anybody, whatever, you're completely like, I have no one in my mind, this could be foreshadowing something coming in or sh uh, foreshadowing something coming in a person's life who's connected to you. But let me talk as if it's already here. This is what I'm getting. You and another are like this. Okay, I'm talking that's it. I mean, it's such a strong bond. If you've been with someone uh, a long time, you're a family now, or you've blended families. If this is something that's new, you guys, wow. I, I'm going to say it as if this is you, but you can reverse this. This could be how someone's looking at you. I think it's probably mutual here. Everything feels very mutual. It feels like you and another are totally on the same page. Um, you love how this person treats family or families in general or friends even. Either you love how this person treats their family, you love how they treat your family, you love how they treat the family y'all have had together, if y'all have had a family together, uh, you love how they treat for their friends even, your friends, children, uh, people, just people in general, how they treat, how they care about things. Like you love how this person cares. They know how to be hospitable even. Maybe this person's quite hospitable to you. You really like how this person is when it comes to other people. You may even see them as someone that would be great to have a family with if you don't already have a family with them. If you do already have a family with them, you couldn't have picked a better partner and you know it. <laughs> I mean, you know, vice versa. They couldn't have picked a better partner than you. I mean, really, you just kind of fit. You fit each other. Okay? This person makes you feel at home, welcomed, loved, secure, etc. Someone who you can lay a solid foundation with and grow roots. Emphasis on roots. Do you know how you leave potatoes in a bag and you go back and you fetch those little fuckers later on and you realize that they done grew a tree in your fucking pantry? Excuse my language. <laughs> like a damn tree in my pantry right now i'm like oh my god like all these potatoes are falling out i think the cats are getting into it and i'm like i totally forgot about these potatoes they were in the very back of the fucking pantry and i got these potatoes sitting on the cat anyways so i decided to continue growing them that's what i do i just can't grow them outside right now because the weather but i'm gonna start growing them in buckets in the house right now i got them growing in water and they're sprouting little should i show you you want to go get you the potato like it's getting like greens on it and everything like leaves just from growing in water so some of y'all are definitely putting down roots with somebody. Either your relationship, I don't care how long you've been with somebody, if you're already with them, it is solid, okay? You couldn't get any stronger than this. You, how? How? I'd like to know. Just go ahead and tell me. If it's new, it's just going to continue to get stronger. It's going to continue to get stronger roots until you grow a damn tree up out of it. Like, family. Family. Some of you, if it is new, you could be introducing them to your family in the near future or family members, certain family members. They're introducing you to the family. Or it's just being around each other's family in general. Or one of the families or something like that. Kids, things like that. Spending time at each other's places, each other's house. Or um, if you're already with somebody, spending time, more time together. Quality time. Holiday time. Whatever it is, you know. Should I go get the potato? I'm thinking about it. Oh, well, maybe if I remember when I'm editing this or something, I'll take a picture of it. Someone loves potatoes. I just got to tell you here. I know it's not for everybody. I'm hearing scalloped potatoes to be specific. Someone do a scalloped potatoes or potato casserole or potato salad or... Yeah, that's it. Something to do with potatoes. Bring the potatoes for sure. If there's like a holiday, come and bring potatoes because the family loves potatoes. Or this person loves a hot potato. Hot potato, hot potato. <laughs> so I'm going to do a starch or uh, potatoes. Potato soup. Potato... Potato, potato, Idaho, potatoes, potato. Yeah. Oh, come on. Right, because isn't that like Idaho potato? You know what I'm hearing? This is not for everybody, but Idaho potatoes. Oh, somebody even likes garlic loaded mashed potatoes or loaded potatoes. Or they like uh, 
what is it? What's that? Potato potato skins. You know, you go to restaurants, you get like potato skins with the sour cream on them and the cheese and the bacon and whatever. Somebody also eats potatoes straight up. It's just fucking potatoes, okay? I said fuck like five times. Potatoes in the bag. <laughs> potatoes in the box. All potatoes. Um, <laughs> I was here in Idaho, right? Like Idaho. Idaho. Who's a hoe? Idaho. And mm, I feel like, be careful. I mean, you can't really do anything about this. You ain't gonna please everybody. But if you meet someone's family, especially if this is anything new, there could be someone in the family that you really end up not liking or they end up not liking you. What does it matter? Do you guys like each other in the relationship? Well, that's all that matters. As long as we're not like, there's not tension and we're all just like trying to ruin each other and not get along with each other. If we could just be cordial and get along, that's it. You ain't got, they ain't gotta like you. You ain't gotta like them. Because I just get, like, someone calling somebody names, you know, maybe looking at them and being like, oh, that looks like a hoe, Idaho, Idaho. Or they're built like a potato or something, and it's like, really? That's, are we doing that? Are we? We didn't grow out of that when we were younger. We're, sh we're doing that now. So just pay no mind to the man behind the curtain. If anybody's got, like, a really destructive, kind of just judgy or uh, family member, don't worry about it. Don't worry about that. You're going to get them in all families, you know? So, yeah, something to do with that. Potatoes. I didn't plan on talking about potatoes, but here we are. So, this person here, and, unless this is all reversed, it's basically the same thing, though. I'm telling you, you and another made each other very happy. I can't, I can't stop saying it. New, old, coming in, whichever. Love them. Love you. And for some of you, if this is new here, and you haven't, like, I'm talking new, new, where y'all haven't even dropped the love word yet. Or the in love word. Or maybe y'all dropped it with each other. But y'all haven't told each other's families yet about something. If no one said I love you here. Uh, that's That could be coming. Whether you say it first or they say it first. Or the I'm in love with you is coming. You say it first, they say it first. When are y'all going to say it? If this hasn't been said yet, it's coming. Someone's going to admit they're, they're in love. It's so more than I just like you and I'm happy we're dating and I'm attracted to you, I'm interested in you. If no one's like actually dating here yet, but there's like an attraction and interest, there could be someone who admits their feelings here coming up. Like I'm attracted to you or I like you or makes it more obvious. If this is something that's already established and we, we definitely know how each other feels, we definitely already love each other and we know it. Uh, it could be where we're telling each other's families about it now or we're blending families. We're putting the families together. We're letting them know kind of where we're at. Could even be babies here for some. I don't feel it strongly, but it could be. Um, there's a baby somewhere around here. I sense a baby. I mean, they could be the neighbors pregnant. I don't know. Someone's pregnant here or will be pregnant. I don't know if it's necessarily you and another though, or if that'll even happen or something y'all even want, but so it could be the fucking dog. Why have I said fuck so much? See, some people don't like that word. That's my mom's least favorite word. You know, she has words that she really don't like, and that's one of them. See, one of y'all going to have to be careful when y'all visit each other's family. It's like they have to know, hey, I actually don't want you to ever change how you are. I love how you are, but, like, when I'm around my own family, I don't even say certain words. And it's like, don't worry. I don't feel like I have to change myself. I'm a chameleon. I can be whatever way. You can take me around your family. I know how to act. It's not like you're going to put me in a courthouse and I'm going to go say, fuck shit, damn hell. I'm going to go say every cuss word I can in the alphabet. <laughs> like, I'm not going to do that. I know how to behave. I know how to, like, behave. So this something here about me and each other's families or being around each other's friends and, like, not changing who we are or to make them like us because who cares if they like us or not. But it's just, like, knowing how to say certain things and whatnot. That's it. Just being, um, there's a word for it. It's not coming to me because I'm tired. But, yeah. Okay. So basically, um, this person loves how generous you are, maybe even in the bedroom, or if you haven't, you know, none of this has happened yet, someone's going to love how generous another one is in the bedroom, probably orally. And if not that, it's generous as in, I wait until you go, if you know what I'm saying. I wait until you are satisfied. Mm -hmm. It's like, damn, really? Wow. See, I ain't got to worry about that being single. I don't got to wait. And if I want to wait, I wait. I just give it to myself. You know, it's just so much less compromising. I just do what I want. <laughs> what I want. If I want it, I give it to myself. If I don't want it, I don't give it to myself. Go to sleep. If I got a headache, I sleep. You know, I don't got to argue with anybody or tell them and see how they feel about it. But there's nothing wrong with this because this is beautiful. This is like so romantic. I think also I get my fair share of love by reading about other people's love lives. Like I actually like it. <laughs> it's like, you know, I was talking to my mom about this the other day. I'm like, do you remember 
reading all those romance novels and she's like yeah I used to read them all the time I'm like I know because that was a kid and I was growing up and I'm like damn she always had these like romance novels and and they would have like some guy with long hair on the front of it I can't remember the name of them but they were like novels do you know what I'm talking about back in the, like the early 90s romance novels and um sometimes I'd flip through the pages I know why but I would flip through the pages of them and I'd see certain words and lines and stuff and I'm like wow I loved the verbiage in that that just you know I would think of the poetry behind it like how I'm not kidding like at that young age I would think of the wording that they used in those romance novels and I just I loved that like I've always loved poetry and writing I love that it's so romantic like you could make somebody melt by what you write them you know somebody's a romantic here for sure but anyway me and my mom were taking kind of like a little short road trip the other day. We went and picked up some drums for my daughter because she's a, she's into drumming. She's a drummer. Like, how cool is that? I love that. And so anyway, um, I was like, do you remember those romance novel novels? And she's like, yeah, absolutely. See, that's what I'm talking about here. People get into that shit or they watch romantic movies. We don't have to experience it firsthand ourselves. I get just as much satisfaction hearing about other people have real love like this. And, um... As if, if I had it myself, but it's just like I get to watch the movie in my mind without having to participate in it, and I love that. I feel like nothing's better. I mean, to each their own. Some people prefer to be in it. I prefer to watch it, to observe. I'm like a romantic voyeur, you know? I'm just like, oh, I love this, you know? Now, if I now if it's toxic, I don't love that. But when it's like this, and it's it's uh, clean and real genuine, and like, oh my, this is like a, this is like a romance movie. It reminds me of like a black and white movie. In fact, Last week, I don't know what possessed me to watch the movie Casablanca, but I watched it and I gotta say, I wasn't impressed. I mean, it wasn't awful, but I've seen a lot better movies from the past. And I mean, it was romantic and all, but I mean, it's just not what I thought it would be. I did like certain aspects of it and all this and that, but. I think my favorite character was, you know, I, I, I can't remember the dude's name. He was, uh, he was the last one standing, basically. She gets on the plane at the end of the movie and goes off with her husband or whatever, and he stays there. I liked him. I liked how he, he let her go. I liked it. I was like, yes, buddy. Yes. Yes. I'm just venting. I'm just talking. Okay. So, you have a, see? People... People may even look at your relationship that you have with the person you're with, the person you're about to be with, going to be with, talking to, you know, uh, seeing each other, the person you've been with a long time. They look at it and they love your relationship. Not that y'all give a shit. You're not with somebody because you care what people think about it. You just, or you, not that you will be with someone because you care what people think about it. It's just like, damn, people are going to be like, wow, that's a really good couple. Like, they love each other. They genuinely love each other. Like, you baby them, they baby you. You scratch their ass, they scratch yours. <laughs> y'all just going to be holidays. You know, they're like, honey, I got to my bag's itching, and you're just like, here, where is it? Just tell me where it is. <laughs> it's like, down here, over here, popping each other's pimples and shit, you know? What's wrong with that? That's love. They also examine how others respond to you, and that, that tells them and even further confirms how genuine you are and that they deeply, well, dot, 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 love you. Okay, so this person is also going to be really into the, uh, into how other people respond to you, okay? vice versa or the both of you even it's like it matters to me how other people receive you and because I'm seeing that you get good feedback and your family also loves you and respects you and uh, strangers love you and respect you that makes me all the more really like you because I can tell that my perception and um, understanding of you thus far is correct and you really are just an all-around good person. Now, of course, listen, guys, not everybody's going to like us. We're going to have people who don't like us. In fact, that tells you you're doing something right in life if you got enemies, especially if you got some real bad ones. You need it. You need the contrast. Um, it's a little weird when people don't have that contrast. It's a little odd, isn't it? For the most part, you have great support and love and admiration around you, and it's because you also offer that to others. You're very genuine, and God, is that that's so... So sexy. I don't know what painted. Why am I seeing toes? I'm seeing something to do with somebody's toenails. Something to do with somebody's painted toenails. Is it like Christmas color? I don't see Christmas color. It looks pink to me. In my mind's eye right now, it looks pink. Or someone wants to paint their toenails. I'll do it. We got a foot person here. 
or many petty spa many many I can't speak many petty or a foot rubber like foot rub foot massage toes in the mouth toes tongue in the toes toes mm -hmm. do you do you boo boo no judgment here something to do with feet finder <laughs> I should do that feet finder because I got some interesting looking feet they almost look like they belong on 17 different bodies like they're just odd you know like this toe looks like it definitely don't match this toe and then this toe looks like a finger it, it but I could make some probably make some money off of my feet I'm not kidding I, I mean I even can write with my feet you guys remember that like several months back when I started writing with my feet I can write with my feet I think that's cool it doesn't matter if they're ugly I can write with them <laughs> okay anyway so um if you've already been with someone for a while, the love is deepening. If this is something new, I'm telling you it's deepening. If this is something to come in, it's going to deepen so quick. Like, you guys, I'm telling you, how long has it been now? Been, what, a month, two months, couple of months now? I've been getting real good messages for you. And why the hell is my binder so hot? Look, I got my binder in my lap. And it's on fire right now. It's on fire. So, and my coupe ain't that hot. You know how you like sometimes in the winter you get cold, you like tuck your hands between your legs while you're driving? Or one hand at least, the other one you gotta hold the wheel. Or like you're sitting in the couch or in the living room and you tuck your hands in your crotch. Do you ever do that? It's like a nature's pocket. It's like a natural built in uh, hand warmer. You just, especially for girls, I don't know about guys, but you just kind of tuck it down in there between your legs. This shit is radiating up through because I didn't have it tucked, it's sitting on my lap. My binder's not tucked in between my legs. And that shit is like, feels like I just took it out the oven. You know, like a pan, like one of them pans you put pizzas on. It was like a pan pizza. I just took that shit out of the oven. Shit's on fire. Like, my God. Somebody hears me like, damn, it's so hot. You damn melted my dick off. <laughs> Stop. I don't know what's gotten into me. Listen, somebody, <laughs> somebody going to be like, wow. <laughs> Did she just, yes. Someone's hot here. I don't just mean physically, but like hot. It's like, does it have a fever? Do you need me to take your temperature down there? Here, go ahead. Let me just hold on here. You know, you shake the thermometer. I'm not sure if you're supposed to do that, but I shake the thermometer. You just shake it a little bit. You wait till it beeps. Now we got them digital thermometers. But back in the day, we used to use those thermometers that weren't digital. You'd stick them under the tongue. First of all, those are dangerous especially around children. So if you got those like old thermometers, be careful around those because I'm only saying from experience because when I was a kid, I was a dumbass. And I took that shit and I was like shaking it, you know, to make the line go back down. You know what I'm talking about? I don't even know if they sell that shit anymore, to be honest with you, because dumbasses like me. And I broke it on the counter and mercury went fucking everywhere. I'm talking mercury beads went all over the counter. But what did I do? Well, I tried to catch them. Yes, I did. Tried to catch them. Went over there and I was like, got it, got it, got it. Like, you know, catching fireflies. Except for it was mercury. That's what I was trying to catch. But it like fall, it like goes away from you when you try to touch mercury. It beads up and it like fall. It like I don't know. It moves. It's weird. It's like out of mind of its own or something. It did not want to be caught. I'll tell you that. Thank God, because it probably would have seeped into my pores and my fingers and I just I don't know what would have happened. But someone's got heat. Like it's like a heater. It's like a space heater. Someone do with somebody's space heater. Or that's a space heater, or someone's a snuggler here, someone's hot, that's all I gotta say. Hot. Hot. Or someone do it pepper spray? Pepper spray? Listen, y'all do what you want. You can get as kinky as you want, or someone just really likes hot sauce or spicy food, or something to do with, yeah, hot sauce. <laughs> Alright, I'm done. I'm leaving it alone. I'm leaving it there. Thank you guys, y'all little nasties for being here with me and I'll talk to you later. Bye.